Hi TechBranch, we're here with Martin Stixel, currently of Lumi, but probably best known to you as Last.fm. Is that, is that, am I correct? That's right, that's right. right. And so, since we're a startup conference and I'm pretty sure that quite a few people still don't know what Lumi is, do you have an elevator pitch for Lumi? Uh, Lumi is really a place where you can find stuff based on the web pages you browsed before. So you install a plugin that uh, works together with all the browsers and uh, that gives you relevant content based on the web pages you visit. So it's a bit like Last.fm for everything. Last.fm recommended you music based on the music you listened to before and now we recommend you web pages based on the web pages you visited before. So sounds great. So do you think this recommendation thing in general is going, uh, is going, to, be going to be big in the nearest future? Like recommendation for everything. You got Last.fm for music, Lumi for web pages, Netflix for videos. The great thing is that uh, a web page can be anything, right? It could be a news article, it could be a video, but it also could be a, a film page on IMDb or a product page on Amazon or, you know, the list is endless. Or a Kickstarter project or anything you would like. But we think that recommendation is totally crucial because, like, Google doesn't really solve the problem of recommendation. It gives you an empty search box if you don't yeah. know what you're looking for. You know, you need to make up your own mind. And social networks are very noisy. The more people you follow, um, the more content is coming your way, and then you still need to do all the work of filtering out the stuff that is interesting for you. So, you know, just lean back and enjoy the web um, is not really happening. On the other hand, publishers also have a problem. They have a lot of content, but they're still going through a front page. Mm -hmm. They're still going... You know, the old, like almost like a newspaper kind of thing, a front right. page. And the front page is really only optimized for sort of lowest common denominator content because they can't really do anything else. So, you know, personalized uh, a project like Lumi can bring both of these things together, be, make the internet easier for users, uh, but also publishers can help, uh, can, can find the right audiences for their Did content. you think it would be an exaggeration to say that, that soon, once you open one page, your very first page in your life in a browser, the, the web will know everything that you will want in the nearest, I don't know, That month. would be great. I mean, that's like uh, what Lumi's vision is, no? We started with like, hey, we've been browsing the internet for 10, 12 years and still the browser welcomes us with an empty page, with an empty search box, with an empty address bar. All this information that uh, we generated over all this time, you know, it could know exactly what you're interested in already, but it's not really uh, doing it. So browsing history for us is really not utilized. There's no platform for uh, where I as a user can use my browsing history for my own benefit. Right. A lot of projects are sort of like collecting it on the sly and using it to do yeah. advertising and stuff like this, but there's not really a platform where you as a user can use it for your own benefit. Interesting. And uh, going back to before you started Lumi, uh, I mean, it's safe to say that Last.fm was probably one of the most successful startups in Europe. So what, what motivated you to start yet another business after already building a successful one? I think it was just the idea that uh, we didn't see the internet as finished, no? especially from a consumer point of view, the internet is still way too complicated to use, you know, when you compare it with other technologies like, I don't know, television or a CD player or something like this, you know, there's so much great content out there, uh, but the internet got more and more daunting for, for people as more content days, and that's why they withdraw and go back to the things they already know. And I think for us, we also had a personal thing. We thought, like, we saw that the Lumi concept had uh, a really, well, the last FM concept, which became the Lumi concept, mm -hmm. had, had a lot of potential to also help uh, in, in other areas rather than just music. But we saw that nobody else was really doing it. Everybody kind of threw all of the recommendation technology out of the uh, window and started mm -hmm. uh, going all about the social graph where you follow people and your friends are going to help you find all the stuff. Um, and we thought, like, that can't be all. It needs to be easier. Uh, and that's why we so came back. 
Well, did you only have one idea for a new venture after Last FM, or did you have several different options and you selected this one? Um, it's still the same idea, you know, it's just a remix of the same idea. So if anything, uh, we always had only one good idea so far. So <laughs> we're, we're doing a remix of, of the original good idea. I think there was a lot of other things that uh, we could have done, but for us it's also a personal thing. We, we see that there's a lot of power in this, uh, in this uh, idea and we don't really see it happening. So we thought like, well, it has to be us. And even, you know, you were successful once, doesn't mean that you're going to be successful again, but that shouldn't really stop you from trying. Um, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that really makes sense. And, and Last FM has, it probably deals a lot with mm -hmm. musicians and other creative people. Uh, and you as an entrepreneur, do, do, do you think there is any particular life hacks to dealing with creative guys, you know, the, the nerdy guys? It's an interesting audience to deal with, for sure. Uh, no, but I don't really have any shortcuts. I mean, the only thing that, as an as an entrepreneur per se, or like, I guess entrepreneurs are to a certain extent creative people, very much so, is is really to try to push the envelope a little bit. If you're just like, you know, doing what other people are doing, or you know, uh, looking at this is not very interesting. You you need to try to push things a little bit. So, you know, with Lumi we try to push things. It might not be us that makes this principle happen, but as long as we are part of this and helping people along, then that's right. a good thing. Yeah. And did, did, when you were starting Last FM, what was the, the main motivator for you? Was it your love for, for music or was it more of a love for recommendations? I think the recommendation for us, I, I was personally, I was a music journalist previously to starting uh, Last FM, so I always took great joy in like introducing great new music to people, um, but I saw that what I recommended uh, was not always to everybody's liking. <laughs> so Last FM in a way was built so I could, we could like recommend music to all sorts of different people. Uh, and there was not a question of taste because I didn't really think that I was somebody special per se. I just thought like everybody should be able to find their own thing uh, out of this uh, massive amount of music that there was out there. So if anything, it was always an enthusiasm to introduce new things to people, um, but trying to scale this with the help of technology to to areas where I personally don't have a clue about, like, I don't know, kayaking or I don't know, <laughs> stuff like this. That, that's, that's a great thing to be able to do. So what's your favorite music? Um, it, Depends. There's a lot of different <laughs> things. You need to look at my Last FM profile actually to find out what I like. But Last FM really opened the horizon for me as far as music is concerned. I mean, the internet is really one of the best things that happened to music fans, uh, I believe, because all this music became available. But Absolutely. then obviously, it is the difficulty with lots of availability comes the burden of choice. You actually need to try to find what is interesting for you so that, you know. But we hope that the similar thing is true with Lumi, that it can expose you and really widen your horizon and try to help you find a lot of things or find out much more about the things that interest you. Great. I, I think this, this was a great wrap up for, for an interview. And I'll probably go and browse your last FM to find out <laughs> what, what your favorite music actually is. Thank you very much. Thank you. This Bye. is Martin Stexel from Lumi. The